Hello and welcome to Adobe Photoshop Bridge video tutorial brought to you by visualvids.co.uk. In this tutorial I'm going to show you a very brief overview of Adobe Photoshop Bridge or Adobe Stock Photos as it's also known. I will be using Windows Vista and Adobe Photoshop Bridge CS2. Adobe Photoshop Bridge is a stock photo combustion search engine which allows you to use and buy stock photos easily. So I'm going to, I've already opened Adobe Bridge to save time as it, it's one of those programs that takes a few minutes to load up. So I've got it minimised, I'm just going to open it up. This is basically the window you get up. If I just maximise this, as you can see on the left hand side here in the folders panel, I'm currently on computer which will let me browse you through all my folders on my computer as it's also a picture filing cabinet. But when it really gets quite exciting and unique is when we stick, click on this Adobe Stock Photos link. It will then be taken to the Adobe Stock Photos, well really a web page. But as you can see in this search engine at the top, if I put search by keywords, I put anything there. I'm going to type in plant. If I was doing a school project or a college project for plant, type that in. So I want pictures for plants. As you can see now, it's already sounds 300 up to 900 pictures of plants. And it's currently displaying 40, 50 of them. As you can see, you get a wide variety of plants, pictures of those, and also links to go on to the next page. And you should ha buy these photos if you're using them publicly. But if you're using only for a, a school project or something where you just need inspiration, you are free to use these to your own wish and I'll show you how. Say I wanted this picture I can see it looks quite good so I'm going to double click on that or press the enter key and that's basically now selected my choice as you can see it's loading up and that will now load it up in Adobe Photoshop CS2 as Adobe Photoshop Bridge comes with Adobe Photoshop CS2 as you can now see, I am free to use that picture in Adobe Photoshop to do what I like with, edit, whatever. So it really is quite an exciting tool to be able to use. And if you join me in the next few video tutorials, I'll show you how you can easily use this brilliant search engine to find all the pictures for your projects. But I must stress for you, this is not to be used publicly for free. If you do want to go public and use these for clients and whatever you do have to pay for them which I can also guide you through using them but for school projects, college projects something where you're just using it for your own personal use these are a brilliant photo source rather than searching through Google for hours to find what you want but for example there we go I've just found my per perfect pictures for my graphics project thank you for watching join us next time where we'll take a closer look at some of these key features. Thank you.